I decided to renovate my kitchen because I just wanted a whole fresh look and it was time for something new and exciting. We set a budget and we stayed on budget. I always stay on budget. A good tip for staying on budget is to be realistic about what your budget is from the get-go. I actually always pad it a little bit, build in more because you're inevitably going to fall in love with something that you want to spend a little bit more on. So don't undercut yourself on your budget. Make it substantial. Our big splurge for this kitchen was definitely the marble because we did it on the counter as well as the backsplash. And as well, I wanted a great quality stove because I was really tired of my pots of boiling water not boiling. The biggest area where we saved was on the inside cabinetry. We went with a big box company with standard cabinets for down below and then made custom doors. So that was a great saving. I think my husband and I came up with this really nice detail on the cabinet doors. And it's this sort of raised beveled edge that goes right around the side. I like it because it's sort of a new take on a panel. The biggest obstacle we came up against with our budget was that our contractor ran off with our deposit. So <laughs> that wasn't good. So we had to find a whole new contractor. I think the lesson learned was we tried someone new because we thought we might save some money. Don't do that. Stay with the person that you know, that's tried and true, that you have a good relationship with, and you probably won't run into any problems. Lighting was really significant in this kitchen. I'm all about having different kinds of lighting. In this one, we have four different levels of lighting. We did not move any electrical or plumbing with this design, and that was one of the ways we saved some money, just follow the same footprint, but change the, the whole shell. We renovated our kitchen because we were renovating the entire house, so the kitchen had to go. In regards to the budget for the kitchen, it was within reason. There was elements that I wanted to splurge on, but overall, it was kept to a tight budget. The elements that we saved on were using the 3x6 subway tile, but we also used ready-made cabinetry from a big box store. It was a no-brainer to add the pot filler because the plumbing already existed, so there was no extra cost for that. It was just an extra fixture to purchase. Within the kitchen, we use two different countertops. Around the edge of the kitchen is all quartz. I wanted the harder working surface on the outside because of the stove and over the island is marble. Windows are always an investment and they just add another touch to the whole design. You do have to think about those elements because it all comes together, even window coverings and all that. And in the end, you have to think about it as a whole. Well, with our renovation, we actually moved out of the house because our whole main floor was being gutted. I often suggest to people that they do move out. It's very messy, it's very dusty, and I think for everyone's well-being, you're better off moving out if you can, but I understand if you want to stay and be a part of the process. The reason we renovated was A, the kitchen was ugly, <laughs> and B, the cabinets found us. I found these cabinets at a Habitat for Humanity Restore and they were in such good condition and so inexpensive that I couldn't not buy it. We didn't have a huge budget. We definitely saved thousands of dollars on the cabinetry. A quick fix on cabinetry is always paint. Some people have great bones, great cabinetry, they don't like the color of it. Paint can completely change the look and it's fairly inexpensive. We needed apartment-sized appliances because regular-sized ones wouldn't fit through the door. So there are these beautiful European-style appliances that look amazing. Some unforeseen costs. We ended up having a leak upstairs from our deck that trickled down to the ceiling, so we had to repair the ceiling. And then we also decided to invest in some new heat floors. It's a really great feature. It actually heats our kitchen. One way that we saved money was we used an IKEA butcher block countertop and we had a little bit left over, so we ended up making our shelves with the leftover countertop. The kitchen is very important to us. For us as a family, renovating our kitchen was a no-brainer. It was 100% worth every effort we put into this kitchen. We spent a lot of time there, so it was important to have a space that was functional and beautiful. It opened up our space, it's welcoming, and it just works better for us. It's definitely added value to the home. It is the show-stopping piece. It's gonna sell the house.